How's it going everybody? KG here. Today I'm going to be your guide through the QLED and Neo QLED lineup from Samsung. This is going to be the guide you want to watch if you're in the market for a Samsung QLED. Alright, so we're going to be starting with the entry level range and making our way up to the premium category. Make sure you stick around to the very end of the video to where I'm going to help you get some buying advice so that you can hopefully find the TV that you want at the end of the day with the best value attached to it. All right, first up, we have the Samsung Q60D. This is going to be your entry into QLED. This is the first time you will see a QLED in Samsung's lineup. All the TVs before this are going to be non-QLED TVs. Now, it is available in a variety of different sizes, and I think that's what makes the Q60D so attractive to a lot of people because there's so many sizes that you can't really find other TV models in. There is going to be only 60 hertz on this TV, so if you're going to want a little bit better motion performance out of the TV, then you're going to want to look to something that has 120 hertz, especially if you are a gamer. You also won't have access to VRR, and you only are going to have three HDMI ports total on this TV. The TV is using the Quantum Processor Lite, and the TV also is not going to be a full array local dimming TV. So you do have really basic backlight control here as it is only a dual LED. If you're an avid movie watcher or you're really serious about your TV quality, the Q60D is nice, but I do think that you'd be better off with a higher end model than the Q60D as it is lacking some things you'd like to see in a TV. Let's take a look at the price tag for the Q60D. 32 inch is 429, the 43 inch is 449, the 50 inch is 479, the 55 inch is 499, the 65 inch is 699, the 70 inch is 849, the 75 inch is 899, and the 85 inch is 1599. As I mentioned before, there's a ton of different sizes available in the Q60D. Although 60 hertz may not be enough for some people, so you might want to look at this next one, the Q70D, which is 120 hertz refresh rate. This is also going to have VRR and an upgraded processor as it's not using the light version of the quantum processor. And you do get four HDMI ports with this TV as opposed to three with the last one. This is going to be available in 55 inch, 65 inch, 75 inch, and 85 inch. Like the Q60D, this is also going to be a dual LED. So lacking full array local dimming at this price tag is kind of a downside in my opinion. Although still a nice TV, it is going to be one you're going to want to look at at a price tag that is hopefully cheaper than full array local dimming TVs. If not, I do think that there are better deals out there. Here are the prices for the Q70D. 55 inch is 749, 65 inch is 799, 75 inch is 1199, and the 85 inch is 1699. Going up, we have another dual LED TV, but this time it is in a stylistic form with the frame. This is going to be known as a lifestyle TV. It's very similar to the Q70D that we just talked about. Matter of fact, it's very similar in specs altogether. The biggest thing that's different about it is going to be the design of the TV and also the fact that it features a one connect box. This is going to be something if you want to display artwork or have a really nice aesthetic to your home, you're going to get this TV and you're still going to get pretty decent picture quality overall, although you can get better picture quality for the price, you're paying for the design with the frame in mind. Here is the price tag for Samsung The Frame. You have 32 inch, 579, 43 inch, 849, 50 inch, 1099, 55 inch, 1199, 65 inch, 1599, 75 inch, 2299, and 85 inch, 3799. Of course, these prices are subject to change. Make sure you check the links in the description below if you're looking for up to date prices. And please consider using the affiliate links while you're down there in the description to buy your next TV. Thank you guys so much for your support. Next up, we graduate to a full array local dimming TV in the Q80D. This is going to be a better performer than both the Q70D and the frame. You're going to see better picture quality overall because it is using full array local dimming. The Q80D is a really good looking TV, but the problem with the Q80D is going to be that it's very close to the Q85D in price, where for just a little bit more, you can get the Q85D, which is going to be a much better performer than the Q80D overall. It's also worth noting that the 50 inch version of this TV is going to be different as it is only 60 hertz. So you have to keep those things in mind with the Q80D. 
The price of the Q80D is 50 inch is 749, 55 inch is 799, 65 inch 899, 75 inch 1599, and the 85 inch is 1749. All right, so I mentioned the QN85D briefly, and I do think that this is going to be a better choice over the Q80D if the price is close enough. But if the price is a bigger gap, then you can kind of make a case for the Q80D if you want to. But if the TVs are close in price, I think that you make the case for the QN85D all the way. I do think the QN85D is a better TV than the Q80D by a good margin. And that's the one that you should probably pick if you are choosing between the two TVs. The QN85D is classified as a Neo QLED TV. And this is going to give you mini LED technology within your TV. This is going to result in deeper blacks overall. And once again, I do think it offers better contrast over the Q80D when we're talking about these two TVs. Now, let's look at the price for the QN85D. 55 inch is 999, 65 inch is 1199, 75 inch is 1599, and the 85 inch is 1799. Next up is going to be the QN90D. This is going to be a little bit of a step up from the QN85D, and it offers 144 hertz capability if you have a compatible PC. So this is going to be really good for gamers. If you don't want an OLED TV, but you want a gaming TV, the QN90D is certainly going to be that. I do think that the OLED TVs are going to be better for gaming than the QN90D in general, but if you already have your mind made up and you want a QN90D or just a QLED in general, I do like the QN90D a lot. I think it's very bright and colorful. The Samsung QN90D will also be the brightest TV that Samsung has to offer in their Neo QLED lineup. So this is going to be one that you will go for if you really like brightness and color. This is going to be the choice if you're not going for a QD OLED TV. It's also worth noting that the 43 inch and 50 inch sizes will be a little bit different than the other sizes that are larger. It's not going to get as bright and the viewing angles are going to be poor as it doesn't have the wide viewing angle filter. So 55 inch and up is going to yield better results than 43 inch and 50 inch counterparts. Here's the price of the QN90D. The 43 inch $899, the 50 inch is $999, the 55 inch is $1199, the 65 inch is $1499, the 75 inch is $1799, the 85 inch is $22.99 and there is a 98 inch size at $89.99. Now before I go into which one you should get, let's talk about the 8K Neo QLED lineup really quickly before we get into that. The benefits to the 8K Neo QLED lineup is going to be that you have a little bit more AI features with the TV itself. It's driven by AI a little bit more thanks to the processor in these 8K TVs. So you are going to get a little bit better upscaling performance and the TV is just going to look sharper in general. All right, let's quickly go over the QN800D's price. The 65 inch is $25.99, the 75 inch is $32.99, the 85 inch is $39.99. I look at the QN800D kind of like I look at the QN85D. It's a good TV overall, but I do think that if you're looking at an 8K TV, you might as well go for the QN900D. And this one is going to be a special one. And it is using the latest NQ8 AI Gen 3 processor. This is going to offer you better processing than you have anywhere else in the Samsung lineup. And it is really impressive to see first and foremost. You also just have a really awesome design in the QN900D as well as it is using the Infinity Air design. It literally looks like the TV is floating right in front of you. I love the design of this TV and I can't say enough good things about how this TV looks. It is a hefty price tag though. 65 inches, 34.99, 75 inches, 44.99, 85 inch is 54.99. All right, so instead of putting each TV against each other, I'm just going to kind of go over which one I think most people should be gravitating towards. I do think that the Q60D is a good bedroom TV, although not really a good living room TV for that. I would definitely look at the QN85D or the QN90D within this lineup. If you're looking for just a really nice design in your living room and still decent picture quality, the frame is going to be a good one to look at. Although you can get better picture quality for the money, so you're going to want to just keep that in mind. You're choosing the design in that one over anything else. But in terms of picture quality, I do think the sweet spot happens to be the QN85D and maybe the QN90D if you can catch it on sale. I do still think that the Samsung S90D is going to be better value than the QN90D. So that's something that if you are going to look at an OLED, 
I still do think that OLEDs are better than the Neo QLED lineup, but if you're just set on getting a QLED TV and not an OLED, the QN90D would be my choice or the QN85D. I personally think that it is hard to recommend the Q80D or the Q70D as I do think it sits in a position that there are just better TVs out there for the money and when you're looking at the Q60D overall, it's not bad if you can catch it on sale. Like I mentioned though, it's probably more so suited for a bedroom than anything else. And the frame is the frame. You choose it for designs and not much else. So I look at the QN85D, the QN90D, and if you're really looking for a luxury purchase and you're just finding that you want a good looking TV design wise, I think the QN900D is one of the coolest looking designs that you can find and that picture quality is awesome. Is it worth the difference between the QN900D and the QN90D picture quality wise though? Not really, they're very similar and that price tag difference is really just a luxury again for the design, the one connect box. Maybe you do want that 4K 240Hz gaming with the QN900D. That's something that is there as well. Let me know what you guys think, which QLED TV would you guys buy? And if you have any QLED related questions or really any TV questions at all, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this buying guide, you might enjoy these other buying guides that I made for other brands. And I've also put some of these TVs in the video side by side in an actual TV comparison. So check that out right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and I hope to see you in the next one.